A couple of days ago, Adobe released a new version of Substance Sampler. This release has the ability to use photogrammetry to scan real-world objects. With this new addition, Sampler promises a one-stop shop. Scanning, texture creation, procedural workflows, it can all happen in this one app. But how good is Adobe's scanning solution and how does it compare to the competition? Let's find out. To test the sampler's capabilities, we're going to pit it against two other pieces of software, Metashape and Photocatch. Metashape is a really capable app, but it's a bit on the slower side. Photocatch is a small little utility using Apple's very own photogrammetry SDK, and it's the program I use to build my own assets. It's not only fast, but it can also spit out very detailed meshes. Reality Capture is missing from this comparison because there's no Mac version available. So, let's start things off with a scan of this nice big rock. I'm going to use 91 images for it, and even though these images are not nearly enough to cover the whole object in detail, it's fine for our testing purposes. Let's do Substance Sampler first. The interface is simple enough, but I was immediately taken aback by these two options here. The application is asking us to input the camera sensor size and lens. I would have expected Sampler to actually grab that information from the data, but it does not. We can leave the fields blank and the application will figure things out on its own, but I'm guessing it will take some more time to process. Since I shot the images, I know all the details, but I still find it weird that something like this is needed, especially from an app that wants to simplify the process as much as possible. The next step is the alignment process. Unfortunately, this is where we hit one more roadblock. For some reason, the application cannot align a big chunk of the images, 31 to be exact. I was quite surprised by this result because Metashape fared much better. Metashape couldn't align just three of those images. That's a tenfold difference right there. I decided to power through that issue and move along with the process. I chose RAW as the final output just to make sure that we will have the best possible result out of the application. Here's the result I got back. By this point, my confusion hit maximum levels. This result didn't make any sense. Just moments ago, the point cloud looked great and the form was properly described. After lots of testing with other objects, I realized that Substance Sampler cannot output a complete mesh when using the raw option. It's clearly a bug, and it might even be a Mac-specific bug, but it's still not a good first impression. In the end, I had to switch to the next best option, which is the high setting. That finally gave me the full mesh results I was expecting. As you can see, we're missing quite a bit of detail, but that's to be expected. The application couldn't align 31 out of the 91 images, and on top of that, we had to use a lower mesh setting, so it's no big surprise really. It looks like the high setting limits the mesh size to around 250,000 polygons. The object looks fine, but once we start comparing it with the competition, it's obvious how much we're missing. Here's the mesh out of Photocatch, the program using Apple's SDK. It's night and day. We managed to capture an incredible amount of detail. There are areas that aren't as detailed, but that has to do with me not capturing every single part of the object. But the parts that are properly captured display an insane amount of detail. Metashape's results are equally good. The mesh is very close to Apple's results. Metashape's meshing seems to blur things a little bit more, so we're not going to get the extremely fine details of Apple's solution, but on the other hand, it's a much more forgiving algorithm. The areas with less capture detail blend a lot better with the more detailed ones. And we get a very nice and consistent look throughout the mesh. Apple's solution, on the other hand, will give us an incredible amount of detail, 
but it's punishing us if we do a less than perfect job taking the photos. Our sloppiness will show through on the final result. It's worth noting here that Apple's mesh is actually smaller in size compared to MetaShape's, but we still get the same amount of detail. Photocatch's mesh is around 3.5 million polygons, and MetaShape's is a little bit over 12.5 million. And considering how much faster Photocatch is, it's really impressive to see the kind of results we can get with it. Speaking of which, let's talk about processing time. Apple's SDK is the fastest one here by far. Then comes Substance Sampler, and in the last position is Metashape. We need to keep in mind though that Sampler only processed 60 out of the 91 images, so I think the results wouldn't be that much different than Metashapes. Photocatch managed to not only be faster, but also capture the same amount of detail as Metashape. There are differences in meshing, but I actually prefer Photocatch's sharp results. In the end though, I don't think there's going to be that much difference in the final low res object. On Metashape, I used the high quality option. I did manage to get the same speed as Photocatch if I used a lower setting, but the mesh quality suffered quite a bit. Apple's SDK is just incredibly fast. It was consistently the fastest one out of the three. It seems to know exactly how and when to push the system. I tried Metashape's ultra high option, but it was extremely slow and the scanning results weren't that much different. So if you're using Metashape, I would say just stick with the high setting or go even lower. That just depends on your needs and preferences. Substance Sampler's results were very disappointing here, but given the fact that it processed fewer images, it's not unexpected. Hopefully, it'll do better with the other objects. Which brings us to the next object of the test, this small piece of concrete. By the way, you can find this object in my newly released debris collection, so if you're interested, you can find more info about it in the description below. Let's see now how Sampler fared. Thankfully, this time, it didn't have any issues with the images. It managed to use all of them and it shows. The final object has quite a bit of detail. That's until we compare it with the other two options. Both Photocatch and Metashape manage to produce meshes with a lot more detail. I think the reason for that is once more Sampler's polygon cap in the high option. We just can't get over the 250,000 polygon limit. The objects from Photocatch and Metashape are in the millions. But unfortunately, there's not much I can do about that. Sampler's raw option just doesn't work for me. As was the case with the previous object, Apple's SDK spits out the more detailed mesh out of the three. Metashape is a little bit blurrier, but it's still a really, really good mesh. When it comes to speed, Photocatch is still the fastest, and this time it's more than twice as fast compared to Metashape. Substance Sampler is faster than Metashape, but again, the mesh is not as detailed. It would have been a different story if I had access to the raw data, but for now, Sampler's time compared to the final output is nothing that amazing. Even with these two objects, we can get a good idea about the kind of performance and quality one would expect from Sampler, but I want to do one last test. This time, I tried scanning this wooden stick. I think this one was probably the best looking result I got out of Sampler. We managed to get a good amount of detail in both the texture and the mesh. Of course, like before, the final mesh isn't as detailed as the other two, but it's more than enough for this type of model. Of course, it's better to start with as much detail as possible and then tone things down, but currently that's the best we can get out of Substance Sampler. As was the case with all other models, Photocatch managed to grab an incredible amount of detail. Notice all the small little bits of information that are there. Let's take as an example the wood grains on this part of the stick. In Substance Sampler, we can kinda see that they're there, but the low polygon count is not doing us any favors. The same applies to the texture. With Substance Sampler's high quality setting, we can get an 8K texture out of it. With Photocatch, we get 
two 8K textures. And with Metashape, we can even go for more if we wanted to. Of course, no one would want to use a 16K texture for an object that will be mostly in the background, but again, it's just a matter of getting the best quality possible and then downsampling to whatever it is that we want. Metashape is very good in the detail department, but like before, the results are not as sharp as PhotoCatch, but it's still a very high quality scan. It's worth noting here that both Substance Sampler and PhotoCatch were smart enough to get rid of the background elements. Metashape captured some bits out of the environment, but of course that's not a big deal. We can easily get rid of these extra details. I just like the fact that we can get a very fast and clean result out of Substance Sampler and Apple's SDK. Now, let's talk about scan times. PhotoCatch was the fastest one, taking almost 22 minutes. Then came Substance Sampler with 30 minutes, and finally Metashape with 1 hour. In this occasion, Substance Sampler hit the right balance, good quality mesh and texture in a fast enough time. As you can see, from a pure photogrammetry perspective, Substance Sampler still has room to grow. Of course, due to the bug, I didn't have the chance to test out the raw output, so the gap between the three programs might be smaller than what we're seeing here. But from a quick check on the fragmented raw output, I think the competition is still better than Sampler, but it's hard to tell. I do like though where Substance is headed. They want to offer a one-step solution for all of our photogrammetry needs. An application that can scan, decimate, texture cleanup, and deliver a final object through the USDZ format. I would absolutely love to see that because I'm currently using way too many apps to do all of those things. PhotoCatch, Cinema 4D, ZBrush, Delight, Photoshop, it can get annoying jumping through all of these apps to do this one thing. So if at some point Substance manages to clear out all the bugs, there are way too many, it's not just the raw output issue, and also improve the quality and performance of the app, I could see myself using it exclusively. But for now, I will stick to my fragmented workflow. So. Yeah, Substance Sampler has incredible potential, and the photogrammetry addition is a really nice feature. It's not as complete as I would have liked, but I'm hoping that things will improve fast in the coming months. After all, the app was still in beta just a couple of months ago, so things are still being ironed out. But what do you think? I'm curious to hear your thoughts. And I think I've covered pretty much everything I had in mind. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.